Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk about shrinking our pores. Yes, that's right. Our pores can be made smaller, but first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That just will notify you of my future anti-aging videos. Now I'm going to show you the things that I've been doing to reduce my pores and I will tell you that it takes some time to do this because I have been on my Retin-A skincare routine which includes lots of serums including this niacinamide serum from The Ordinary. But I have been using this skincare regimen now for about 13 months and it was about at the 10 month point that I realized all of a sudden that I wasn't having to work so hard to cover up my large pores. It used to be that when I was at work during the day at about the noon hour I would look in the mirror and I would have all these little dots all over my face as my enlarged pores were showing again. But all of a sudden at about the 10 month point of using this serum from The Ordinary, this niacinamide serum, all of a sudden I realized that I wasn't having to work so hard to cover up my large pores and they truly seemed to be getting smaller. And the Paula's Choice website confirms that there is research that niacinamide does shrink pores. And how it does that is that it makes the skin more elastic. And as we get older, our pores fill up with oils and get clogged with other things and they become enlarged. And if the skin is still rigid, those pores just look like they're cement on our face, just like cemented little holes on our face. But when the niacinamide works to increase the elasticity of our skin, not only does it shrink our pores back to more normal size, it also reduces fine lines and wrinkles. And another thing niacinamide is proven to do is to reduce hyperpigmentation. And in fact, in an eight-week study, the scientists found that a 10% niacinamide solution was equal in effects to hydroquinone for removing hyperpigmentation. Gradually, over time, it just evens out our skin tone, making our skin look more poreless, refined, and even. I will tell you though that for me this niacinamide was not an overnight success. It took about 10 months of regular use every single night before I realized that my pores were shrinking. Now another thing that we can do to help niacinamide shrink our pores is to use a mask with bentonite clay and there are several on the market and one of the oldest and most effective I feel is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This is actually a mask that I've been using for years, probably a couple of times a month, and its main ingredient is bentonite clay, and bentonite clay really pulls out the impurities from your skin. It just draws all those impurities out, and then you wash them away with a washcloth. And if you want to look good for a special occasion, use this mask and your pores will look smaller. Now something else which helps our pores to look smaller as we're waiting for our niacinamide to work is pore perfecting primers. And I have three of them right here and these are three of my favorites. The first is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Absolutely a beautiful little primer. You just put it on before your foundation, let it dry for a moment and it totally smooths out the look of your pores. The second one I have here which I really enjoy is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. And this is very good if you have oily skin. It's a little bit heavier than the Maybelline. The Maybelline is a lighter fuel primer. This one works beautifully, especially if you have thicker, oilier skin. And the one that I use most often right now is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Absolutely love this one. It's kind of a cross between the very lightweight Maybelline and the Professional, which is a little heavier. It's just kind of a medium weight primer, and I don't use it all over my face. I just use it in the T-zone areas where I'm wanting to reduce the pores. Now something else which really works to reduce the look of our pores is a wonderful blurring powder. And there are several of these on the market. Now if you're looking for a drugstore blurring powder, one of the best is the Cody Airspun. And I use it in the color translucent because it goes over any makeup without changing its color. And you just put this all over your face once you've done your makeup and brush it off with a big fluffy brush. But if you're looking for more of a high-end powder, this is the one I've been using the most lately. And this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And as you can see, it's a wonderfully fine milled little powder and it has a great blurring effect. And what I do is I just take my big fluffy brush and dust that off in there, pat it off and just go over my face. It's the blurring powder that I have on right now. And I find that this blurs out pores and fine lines and wrinkles. And it also gives your face just a brightened effect. Now that's a look at some of the best ways to minimize our pores. Now if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just send you little email notifications of my future videos. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I have been using the Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. Let's see what God in the universe has in store for us to think about today. Ooh, it looks like a good one. I am willing to forgive. I am willing to forgive. Forgiveness is a gift to yourself. It allows you to release the past. Go to your mirror and say, I forgive myself, I forgive everyone, I forgive the past. 
I absolutely love this card and the thing I like most about it is where it says forgiveness is a gift to yourself. In my first half I remember that forgiveness was really hard for me. When we think that we are in the right and someone has wronged us in some ways, it's easy to be self-justified and angry and mean and nasty about it. And sometimes we think, why should I forgive them? Look at what they did to me. I'm a big victim. And first when we do that it makes us powerless because victims are always powerless. And secondly, it just makes us miserable. I remember in one case, I was mad at a couple of my family members and I was really mad at them for about 15 years looking back. And all it did was probably give me arthritis. I really think the arthritis that I developed had to do with the anger and unforgiveness I was holding in my body because we just can't hold onto that anger because it only hurts us. Like this card says, forgiveness is truly a gift you give to yourself. It helps stop the victimhood you may have felt in that situation. It helps bring back your power and bring back the joy to your life. So just for today, let's release the past and forgive. That way we can have a great day, a great week, a great month, and a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.